quite often we get asked, so what am I going to get if I harvest my woodlot? And the thought in mind often is, well, what am I going to get for these high-value saw logs? And that may only be a small portion of what you end up getting for total value. Because in most woodlots, there's probably some thinning that's needed in all of the sizes of trees. And so while you may only get a, you know, four or $5,000 worth of high-value saw logs, you might find that you wind up with eight or $10,000 worth of pulpwood or lower value products in addition. So the total package really might be something that turns your head. The only way you're gonna figure it out is get a forester out there and have them walk through the woods with you, take a look at you know, the, the wood lot, what's ready to be harvested, and come up with a, with a calculation for you once he's seen the condition of the forest. Without a doubt, the most important thing a landowner can do before selling trees is to hire a forester. But how do you find a good one? A great place to start is the internet. Go to the Society of American Foresters to begin with. Just Google SAF, and it's about the third result down. The Society of American Foresters is a national scientific and educational organization representing the forestry profession in the United States. Click on Landowners and the Public for lots of information targeted at you, the landowner. Click on Find a Forester to locate a list of foresters near you. To jump to the Michigan Society of American Foresters, go to michigansaf.org. Don't worry if you're not catching these websites. We'll have a complete list of websites at the end of the video. Michigan State University Forestry Department also has great information on hiring a forester. Remember, using a forester is the key to your success. He or she works directly for you and protects your investments. A forester inventories and finds the value of your trees, creates a harvest and land management plan, prepares and sends bid sheets to loggers to get top dollar, and supervises the cut. They do all of this for a small percentage of the sale, so you pay them nothing out of pocket. Once you've found a forester, let's look at the whole process that you'll go through during a planned timber harvest. First, the forester will walk the property with you to inventory the trees. Then the forester will identify individual trees or areas to harvest. Some trees may be high value saw logs, others may have less value, but both types play an important role in maximizing your timber harvest return. Next, you and the forester will create a forest management plan. You'll plan trees to cut or areas to thin, wildlife habitat to conserve or improve, and paths, roadways, and open areas to create for recreation. The plan will also lay out potential areas to harvest in the future so your children can reap the benefits of the land. The forester's next step is to contact loggers for bids on your timber sale. Here's where a forester can save you thousands of dollars. A forester knows the markets, the best loggers, and the ins and outs of negotiating a great contract on your behalf. Once the high bid for a good logger is chosen, the forester handles the contract and the timeline of the cut for you. After the cut, the landowner realizes a great return on his or her investment. The forester receives a small commission directly from the sale, and there's no surprises because everything in the sale was accounted for before the first tree was cut. Finally, the forester and landowner review the entire process and plan for the future. Once again, here's forestry expert Art Abramson. So landowners should be proud of what they're doing managing their, for their wood lots. Not only are you growing renewable fiber that provides uh, products for furniture or products for energy, you're, you're contributing to a healthier forest, you're helping to provide jobs. If we are using some of our fiber for energy, we're reducing our, our dependency on foreign oil. And all of this, all of this is renewable over the long term. When you harvest trees, they grow back. 
and all we really need to do is do it in a, in a way that's wise and and uh, and is going to perpetuate the the forest in Michigan long term. Mm -hmm.